would like to welcome to our midst our two new brothers who have been embraced uh, into the cause of Islam. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of a background. I went to Mosti Tatakwa for Ijuma service and they were taking the Shehada. And I was so excited because they are Nigerians. Love. And more uniquely is that they are Igbos. Allah Akbar. And the thought aspect is that they are young. You know, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that when you see young people in Algeria, it means the first thing was from Allah. And Allah they, they have, as, as a young person, if a young person dies, Inshallah, all of us will have long life. Amen. And they see them in Algeria. Amen. Like, wow. When old people die, who are in hell, alive, it's like, question yourself. You had all these years to do the right thing. You didn't do the right thing. And you ended up in, in hell. May that not be our portion. Amen. Amen. So, I was so excited when I saw them in the women's section and put the screen. And I waited for them outside that I have to give this newborn into this into that religion because they know that they have become newborn the young things, all the things that they have committed before is the wife. Inshallah. Inshallah Amin. Amin. Everybody ever say Amin. 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 So also they they did not apparently become Muslims. They have been studying. They asked questions. They had friends who were Muslims. They asked them. They read. They researched. And eventually, they both decided, and their cousins. Allah Akbar. And they both decided that they were ready to embrace Islam. So, that I, I met them, I told them we have Nigerian Muslim community also. Yes. And we would like to welcome them among us. And so, I present to you uh, Vincent and John. Please come to the front. Allah Akbar. No, we'll get to that. We will get to that. You be better to that, not a bedding. So, you are here to meet your mother, your sister, and your brothers. And you have been embraced by Islam. Yes. And you are going to be Bushra Ahmed. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Emu dani ema jo jabo. On behalf of my entire Azari Jerusalem branch, I present to you this token. It's a token to the people. Thank you. Ah, jomo ekbolo ba to bi. You will be hearing that often. You hear that often. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, um, please say, right? Oh, John. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Introduction? Yeah, that's good. Right. Uh, uh, my name is John. Uh, I'm. Uh, Originally an Igbo, um, I met uh, Mr. Sharifa at uh, the other mosque 
uh, she introduced herself saying that uh, she would like me to come over here also with my newly uh, reverted uh, cousin. So um, in regards to me accepting Islam, it was a two year journey. I Allahu Akbar. Yeah, I didn't really just say oh, I wanted to become Muslim. It was over time and just looking at the people and also looking at my environment and just making a difference and the kind of man that I am is I ask questions you know and I look into the Quran and started studying for myself and started comparing the Bible and a lot of other other uh, you know religious books exactly so over time you know you you start to realize that you know that the Quran has a lot of truth in it and you know you and it's just it's it's, a, it's it's very very it's it's like you know that there's one quran correct all over the world exactly and, and if you compare it to other religious texts you know there's nothing to be compared to it allah akbar My name is uh, Vincent. Uh, I grew up in, actually grew up in Nigeria before I moved, uh, like permanently down here. So, uh, I always, I mean, we're all Nigerian, so we, we do know Muslims have a bad sense of it. They have a bad reputation, just a little bit. Especially the, especially the evil community. It's actually rare to see an evil Muslim. That's what they brainwashed us. So, yeah, so, um, so I, growing up, I always used to think like it's like a war between Christians and Muslims. And like, you know, like Muslims believe in Allah, Christians believe in God, and Allah is not God or whatever. That, that's what the mindset I had as a little kid. So, you know, growing up, you know, I started to uh, look into like the Muslim lifestyle. And I, I kind of liked it a lot because it was like, I love how dedicated they are. They pray. Yeah. Christians don't really take it as seriously as Muslims take it. So that's something to look into, right? So you uh, start to ask more questions, you start to do your research, you start to read. And then you guys said, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually give this a try. I'm going to look into it. Started studying. I uh, had a. Uh, the landlord at the time, he gave me a uh, his uh six shots in Islam. So I was going through it and, I, and then, uh, as I was reading, I saw some things that were in the Quran that not even science had proven. So it was like, okay, it's not a human being who wrote this then. You know, because because at, at a certain point I was like I was done with Christianity for a while, so I was like, none, none of our religious, just spiritual, none religious. So, so I started to see certain things that were, you know, quite unbelievable, to say the least. And, uh, so I was like, okay, I gotta look, I got excited, I was like, I gotta look more into this, I gotta look more into it, start learning more about the lifestyle, the, the, uh, the laws, and so on, and so on. The, um, the prophet himself, Muhammad, beat down to him. And uh, yeah, this man, long story short, you can't beat that man. Like, it's so much, it's beautiful, I love it. It's, uh, you know, they have, uh, Muslims have an a, a image that they're like, you know, bad people, they kill a lot of the guys, whatever it is, but it's a very peaceful community. When I came, when I converted, I was welcomed with, with warm arms, people hugged me, and welcome, you know, beautiful. And I'm grateful for that. So, um, yeah, I'm really grateful. I think I made a very good decision. Um, Allah Akbar. Takbir. Takbir. So, that is another one you'll be hearing very often. Like I said earlier. Mm. So, you are more than welcome uh, within our midst. And we will. We will um, like to be seen here every Sunday, inshallah. May Almighty Allah make it easy and 
uh, make it convenient for you to be able to uh, be in our midst every Sunday. Now, I see this gathering as just like I was mentioning to our, we do have a chairman. Uh, if you want to call him president, that's fine. We don't no. contribute or put, put money in his pocket. No, mm. he's doing it as a free of will. Mm -hmm. So, mm. uh, in Al Islam, generally, uh, we don't do tithe. Isn't that what it's called? Yes. Uh, whereby the imam gets to take all the money home. Mm -hmm. No, if I could do that, I would have established my own. Uh, Masjid, or I, I, maybe I'll call it only Coco Mosque. <laughs> However, we don't have that in Islam. So whatever you do, you are either doing it in the cause of Allah, in financially, or in the cause of people that are in need. Not someone like me that has a job, but people that don't have a job, or that do not have the opportunity of working. Because in this country, once you've been to prison once, <laughs> it's going to be hard to ever find a job again. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean you cannot work, right? Those people you see on the street, it's either because they have a bad record. And that's why they have found it. They found or, men, or mental illness. Uh, uh, mm, uh, yes. uh, yeah, yeah, certainly, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to say that the, the, the idea that mm. people do look at them, that there's nothing wrong with you. Mm. How come, why are you asking Not people working. for money? Mm. The rest are sure that the system itself is present, uh, preventing them from getting a job because they have done one thing or the other in the past, just like I did, just like some of us has done. Mm -hmm. But we all ask a lot of forgiveness, but we humans, we find it very difficult to forgive one another. Even the law itself does not quickly forgive people with color. So, <laughs> but if it was a white, you know, uh, okay. I still have to mention it. May Almighty Allah uh, make everything easy for us. Amen. You can go and uh, have a seat. And we oh, do. Please, please. So, assistant Chairman is here. Please come and represent the executive. Uh, yes, that is our yeah. assistant. You can, so that way you will be recognized. Mm -hmm. uh, the Chairman is, uh, uh, is not the, around. So, please welcome them. Welcome so, them uh, to. I'm sorry. Welcome. We appreciate you guys. You are welcome to our meet. You are almighty I mean, you with you. Anything that will make you guys believe, oh, now I think I'm tired. I want to go back to where I belong to. You guys will never see it. Amin. That is boring. Things that are beyond what you can control. And for some reason, uh, you decide to hope because uh, maybe, uh, you know, that will make you have to change religion. That will Allah, never Allah, happen Allah, to you. Allah, Allah. And none of us. Almighty Allah accept our prayers. So, so, so you can so go and um, um, shake everybody's hands. Mm -hmm. So in this machine, we do have so one of, of five days, uh, five times for that, everything. So I don't know if you Imam have day yinka you. Have busy, you Imam my day yinka. Yes. Uh yes, uh in uh in Mr. Dika. Hey, welcome <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so repeat on what he's saying. We do have a prayer time is up there. Yeah, and welcome. Go ahead. Go shake hands. Here, go shake their hands. Are you the one that got go shake their hands. hands. But in that your Islam, name? you can also <laughs> pray at home or in any masjid. You must not have to be, uh, belong to that particular organization before you can pray in your masjid. So that's what so makes us... Uh, hey, my dear one. That's part of what makes us unique, right? Do you have a question? Go ahead. Do you want me to give you the mic? Sure. No, no, no. Yeah, that's fine. I would like to ask... Um, from your knowledge and, and you know, why do you think that there's not a lot of Muslim Igbos? Okay, I'm a typical. I can I can even give you that answer. And Go ahead. I am, I'm from Yoruba, right? So we do know that the three common tribes in Nigeria, Hausa. Yoruba and Igbo. If I hey, no, look down. back on the history of Nigeria down, itself, mm -hmm. you can so, so, so. Mm -hmm. you can simply say that 
uh, colonization before Nigeria itself became uh, or get, uh, got their own independence, uh, there are concentrated areas mm. of the British, right? And British do not only colonize people, but they also bring religion with them. Mm -hmm. So the areas where they have concentrated the most, that is why some of you or most of you, if you look at, if you actually have access to Ancestry or something like that, you know that app, mm -hmm. they, you can also trace it. Clearly, you will see Africans that are light skin like you. Be rest assured, you do have some white people background oh, that makes you light skin, yeah, yeah. right? So, uh, for the Yoruba part, we are more like 60 40 within Nigeria in terms of 60 uh, Islam, 40, and both. <laughs> fun, <laughs> very funny, right? Both, both people that 60 40. They believe in their own traditional whatever. <laughs> you get that? So on the other uh, uh, on the other end, for the Igbos, so like I said, they're almost 80-20, if not 85-15. I'm sure Google uh, Google can give you more precise information as a regard to the way they believe in. And not to speak something Negative. Negative, but I will say it. Where there is money, there is human. Right? In all three tribes, I can categorically, categorically say that the... Because I have a wife, Igbo. Just to let you know. I have a wife, Igbo. Even though she doesn't call herself Igbo. She's from uh, Port Harcourt. Um, they said, anywhere you go on earth. She used to tell me that. Anywhere you go on earth in search for better life and you get that you do not see one evil there that means you're not safe you should run <laughs> you're not safe you should run so huh? trust me ask your let, let me explain that you yeah. that. Okay. Let, let, let me quickly explain that so what i'm saying okay. is that money motivates mm -hmm. everything sure. money uh drives everything and they have seen that part of Nigeria to be money, kind of. They're, they're very serious people, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But where there is money, there is humans, right? Mm -hmm. And they know that they, all they can use to get them close is money, by throwing money at them. Mm -hmm. And then they, they carry it on and on and on. They love them so to make, it, make, to make it look like that is the only religion that, will, that Allah will accept. And Allah made it clear in Al Quran. Inna Dina, Inna Dina, That statement is in Al Quran. Except I cannot tell you the surah or the verse. But uh, where, where you can find it quickly. So, what that means is that we will not, we shall not accept any other religion on the day of judgment except Al Islam. Okay. So it doesn't matter what you believe in or what you decide to practice on earth, mm -hmm. but on the day of judgment, the only religion Allah says He will accept on that day is Ali Islam. Mm -hmm. May Almighty Allah make it easy. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe now I'll answer your question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so in our, um, our in father here, in a nutshell, <laughs> in a nutshell. Uh, Igbos are supposed to be rugged people, strong, rugged, rugged people. The same thing with Yorubas. Outsiders are considered to be, you know, kind of, you uh, and uh, not as rugged. So they say, the saying goes that if you go anywhere and there are no Igbos there or no Nigerians there, you should run. It means that place is not habitable because we're strong, we're rugged people will you know do whatever it takes to be successful so one of our fathers want to respond to your question about why there are not as many Igbos who are muslims go ahead sir well uh john uh Vincent, i want to welcome you to uh, uh the mosque okay uh i'll add you with that i've already answered the question uh, pretty much but uh the only thing I want to add, you know, it's uh, the reason why there are not too many evil Muslims 
has to do with history. Yes. It's historical. You know, um, in the in the late 1700s, 1800s, yes, most uh, the Arabs, you know, came from the north and they had access, you know, to the west, but they never, you know, made it to go to the east. So, and because of the uh, because of the early interaction with Europeans in the East that facilitated, you know, the acceptance of, you know, the European, more of the European culture, which includes their religion, okay? So that's very much it, you know. There's nothing wrong, you know, with either of the religion, it's just, you know, what you believe in, or what you accept, or what you're willing, what you, uh, the sacrifices so you make, willing to make, to uh, practice in that religion. Mm -hmm. That's the only difference. Mm -hmm. Okay? Welcome, mm -hmm. And there were so many missionary activities. You know, you know how the colonization happened. Gone in hand, Bible in the other hand. You know, so, as you said, you know, historically, the movement, um, uh, they were very, very active in the East, you know. So that's why a lot of uh, evils change their religion from the traditional religions to Christianity, you know. So it's it's, it's movement at that time. But, uh, you know, it's changing a lot. In Nigeria, you saw the Quran that was uh, translated into Igbo language, the one that I sent to you, by uh, Igbo who has turned to Muslim. And his name, who is the uh, okay, Chuku? This is uh, you, okay. so. Um, I found the line. So, do you have Muslims' names? Muslim names? Have you been given? Do you want a Muslim name? Uh, I believe John is Yahya. John is Yahya. Good. They've done their work. Allah has to work. So, you, you can embrace that name. I found it in life. Introduce to the man in Portland. There's, it's, a, it's an ego, the man in Portland. Inshallah. You're going to bring the contact. Inshallah, inshallah. So, it, that is very true. Any any uh, information, any contact that we have with Igbo Muslims, please let's connect them. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I would like to uh, have a name for Vincent. Vincent, do you have a name in mind? I was, I tried to find, but then I didn't find any Muslim name that goes with Vincent. Okay. I couldn't find, but oh. I know, I know, Chukwameka in uh, means a humble one. means what? Alhamdulillah. So you can be Ahmed. Ahmed. Ahmed means the one who is full of praises, who is always thanking God. So do you like that? That sounds good. You like that? Ahmed. Allah Akbar. Ahmed and Yahya. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.